Hey friends, today I am hanging out on the good old 192, a big stretch of road right outside Walt Disney World. This place has so many hidden gems, Old Town being one of them and that's where we're at right now, plus amazing different Disney like outlets and even some nifty places where you can find some unbelievable Disney World memorabilia. So let's go do this. Old Town is like an attraction in itself. Very cool. Some classic American fun, they say. We've got dinner and dancing. I love this place. Perfect for any event. Birthdays, anniversaries, family reunions, and corporate meetings. This is an elevator. Wow. <laughs> I just realized that. Or a chairlift. That's kind of cool. They have a whole bunch of different attractions here and like I said, shops and plus tons of holiday decorations that we could take a look at. I'm excited to show you. This is the stuff I don't show often in the videos. I used to do it a lot. Now I want to start doing a little bit more so I can just give you a, a brighter scope of things here in Orlando, Florida or all around the world actually. I've done a lot of these attractions, including the slingshot. I did that a while ago. I still have like my USB where I have the video on it. And uh, I remember doing that as well. That's the thing that just like spins you round and round. That kind of gives you a headache. But they have classic Ferris wheels. And then they even have a lot of car shows down here. And apparently an extreme ninja challenge? What is that? What is this? This really, really has piqued my interest. Extreme Ninja Challenge. Play at your own risk. Well, it's closed. Looks like it'll open up at four. Oh, is this like, oh, wow, look at it in there. Holy moly. So it's like one of those courses that you have to run through. I like it. I just seen another shop that I'm really excited because I've seen videos of this before, but I've never known where you can actually go do this. Oh right next to the ferris wheel they got a fish spa look at you know a fish spa you stick your feet in the water and the fish eat like all the dead skin i would absolutely love to do this wow i'm gonna be meeting up with a friend shortly and he actually does a lot of videos down here so he's probably gonna give me a lot of information that i had no idea and we can actually tell you as well i'm just excited to be here such a fun little festive area they got their own Christmas tree down here and it's basically a bunch of license plate and hubcaps. It's still a very like, big tree, only because they do a lot of car shows down here, like I said. It's kind of a thing for them and I like it. You see all the different states, Hawaii, Arkansas, West Virginia, take me home. And here is my friend, World of Micah. I'm a little chilly in the in the shade. Oh yes. I'm enjoying it. I like think, in the sun, it feels amazing. I think we need but some sun. We do. <laughs> the Ferris wheel's blocking it though. Look at it. It it's is. like literally if we, oh right there, see? And then we step to the right. Get some of ah, flares. It looks so good. The question though is, Micah, would you stick your feet in a big tub full of fish so they eat your skin? I don't know about that. That's so weird. Like, I'm very ticklish. <laughs> they think about like, like a bunch of like 100 fishes just nibbling at your toes. I feel bad for them. <laughs> I would like to ride the Ferris wheel. It only costs $5. So we'll see if that's actually possible. I know it's running, so it's definitely open. But it looks like the machine is down to buy the ticket. So we're going to have to find another way to actually purchase the ticket to get on this bad boy. Look at this fancy car, though. Oh, it even says Old Town at the bottom. My Old Town USA. That's a Thunderbird. You know, I had a 1967 Chevy Malibu when I was growing up. Well, it was my mom's. She was actually one of those like hipster racers back in the day, you know, like Grease Lightning. She was. And like I said, they have tons of attractions. This is Fun Spot and they actually have, this is kind of like uh, Dino Rama. And they also have another roller coaster right there. Very fun, very fun spot. Also, look at the big fun monster truck right there. That was in a couple of movies. I think it was actually in Roadhouse. It was in Roadhouse, look at that. I actually remember that. Roadhouse is one of my favorite movies. You know, when he like, ha! <laughs> That's what he did. You just Roadhouse me? Roadhouse you. <laughs> they also have like a bunch of Christmas trees going around. Wow, look how festive this park is, isn't it? Very nice. Now I think it's time we head back over to the Ferris wheel. We have our ticket and we're going to go for a ride. Ooh. Looks like we're getting lucky number 13. Lucky number 13. <laughs> <laughs> lucky number 13. Oh boy. I'm going to sit on this side. Gather in, gather in now. And 
<laughs> yep, we're moving. Oh, rocking, rocking a little bit. Oh, we're going up. Here we go. Getting some views. Almost at the highest point, right here. Yep, that's it. Here we are. Look at this. I think we can see, I can see the swan and dolphin there. Wow, I can yeah. see the Tower of Terror. Yeah, off in wow. the distance there. Sure is, Disney right over there. That was so much fun actually riding the Ferris wheel. A lot funner than I remember. I haven't rode in a long time, but right next to Old Town is one of the places that I actually featured that sells a lot of Disney memorabilia. So I figured maybe we'll take a peek see in there and just see what they got. Maybe some new stuff, I don't know. This is one of the places I was talking about, the escape hatch room. They have so much Disney memorabilia. I'll give you a look once we get inside. And here it is. Take a look at so much amazing things in here. Obviously, last time we showed you the Elvis Presley suit that's still here, but they did get a lot of new stuff, including some Universal Studios props. Like, look at this. This is a piece of, like, it's a photo from the disaster movie. And then they even have wallpaper from Disneyland's Great Moments with Mr. Lincoln. That really catches my fancy. I like the wallpaper and I like the frame. This is really nifty. They have so many different things. A uh, leaf from Splash Mountain. Even down here, the Main Street Electrical Parade. June 11th, 1977 to September 14th, 1991 fancy they also started to get a lot of furniture that you can actually buy from the different resorts and even from the parks themselves and i appreciate that they have some things that i haven't seen for sale in any other places that i've been to this one right here might be one of my favorite things this is an actual awning from the real world at walt disney world unbelievable right it's actually on sale they have a special for it $225 and then they have all different other ones the Haunted Mansion the carpet from the Grand Floridian I like how it's framed up that's $225 and then on this side they got the great movie ride the carpet from the great movie ride some of the furniture that they got is like the Wilderness Lodge headboard now I have the tops of these like they actually were on top, but they had to cut them off because this wouldn't fit out the door. That's why they had to cut it off. And I've never seen the bottom half, but here it is. Pretty fancy. Also, they have the Polynesian headboards. Like that's amazing. And it's still lit up. You can actually, oh, look at that. Pretty cool. Like I said, all of this stuff is for sale and the prices aren't marked exactly because I don't know. Uh, but if you do have an inquiry and you want to purchase them, I'll leave the number and the website. You can just call them up and they can basically just rattle off what anything is. And then you can just, you know, figure it out from there. And like I said, all of this stuff is for sale. And I don't know what the prices are exactly, but you can actually just, you know, call them up. I'll put the number in the description and their web address and probably their Facebook page. So if you have any questions, you can just call them up and they'll be able to tell you everything you need to know. Look at these amazing blueprints. They have Test Track, Future World. These are really fancy. And then a lot of different Walt Disney photos, cast member celebration pins. All the amazing pictures in here. I absolutely love it. And then, of course, the Screen Door General Store. So if you're a fan of the boardwalk, they have the rug here. That is amazing, isn't it? I love all of this stuff. I would literally have my whole entire house actually filled with it. Another really amazing, amazing piece is this one right here. It's a please restricted zone sign. I absolutely love this. If you actually take a boat out on Seven Seas Lagoon, there's certain areas where you cannot take the boat and they actually have these signs saying, please don't come in here because that's the way that the ferry boats go back and forth. That's really awesome. Something I absolutely love is like old school 
vintage stuff and like look at this snow white delicious <laughs> cake and pastry bag this is just a flower bag and then down here the pass holder farewell to the main street electrical parade march 15 2001 wow that's an opening day disney animal kingdom sign another thing that i really love is the license plates especially the older ones like 2000 MGM Studios and then the Epcot ones. These are actually all original ones not reproductions and I love it. Oh man anything that says MGM just got my heart. It's also a place where you can get yourself an Oscar and I'm picking it up right now. It's, it's very heavy. Holy moly. It's unassigned but this is just something cool on its own. It was real cool to show some of the cool stuff in there. Like I said, I'll put all the information and we'll probably come back out and I'll do a whole video really showcasing a lot of that stuff. But since this is just like fun things to do around 192 in Old Town, we just want to put a little bit in there because it's so close. It's literally walking distance. Like you can walk from Old Town right there in under a minute. Now we're going to take a walk down. You can see all the different Christmas decorations. And I'm going to show you some other stores because they have tons. It goes all the way down and down. And the same thing on the other side. What is this? Like a little like pina colada place? Yeah, you get like, like ah. drinks and stuff. Right? Oh, you get a little lapu lapu, huh? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that is really nifty. It's a tiki station. I like it. All the different pineapple and Hawaiian flavored stuff. Very fancy. Another very interesting fact about Old Town is the place where you can get the cheapest and coldest beer in Old Town is kind of not what you would be expecting. So strange that Annie Ann's has the cheapest and coldest beer, but yeah, I guess you can't go wrong with some pretzels and beer. Another really cool store is the Round and Around, and it's actually a 50s, 60s, 70s nostalgia gift shop. Awaken the memory. <laughs> Awaken the memory with my vinyl disc. Look at this place. I love it. And I love the checkered floor. And they have tons of autographs and different things that you can buy. Old stands and of course, the king himself. My mom was actually a big Elvis Presley fan. I feel like I'm telling you a lot of things about my mom. I told her that she was a Grease Street racer and now an Elvis Presley fan. Very strange. Another thing that they have down here at Old Town is the Mortar Manor haunted attraction that's actually open 365 days a year. And then the post-mortem horror boutique. This place sells masks, shirts, purses, collectibles from the horror genre. I'm excited to show you all the nifty things. Look at all this stuff. We've got monster tiki's. I love how they have all the classic monsters. And then tons and tons of different shirts and masks. It's so funny seeing all these masks because they actually have a sign that says please do not wear the mask so don't try on the mask but you also have signs that say please wear your mask. So these masks are a must but those masks no 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 no. I honestly think it's so cool inside that store and it just fits great if you're a horror fan all year long. Never goes away even during Christmas they even add Christmas decorations to the haunted house that they actually have right next door. Look at that, isn't it awesome? This is it, this is the haunted, the Mortem Manor, the haunted attraction. It's open 365 days a year. Only 15 bucks to go through it. Looks really scary. Kind of fits in with all the buildings, but then it doesn't. I just noticed that wreath too as well. And then the gigantic bat hanging for vampire. Very cool. Walking around Old Town, you might actually want to get yourself something to drink. And this one general store actually sells 12 ounce glass bottles of Pepsi for just 99 cents. So I feel like I need to get one. Right here, the Old Town General Store. 12 ounce glass bottles, only 99 cents. Pretty fancy. I think I need to get one. But I don't know if I'm actually going to get Pepsi because I just recently discovered they have RC Cola. Look at that. Or Big Red. I wish they had Cherokee Red. Any of you guys remember Cherokee Red? But I think I'm going with an RC Cola. Oh boy, fancy. Of course you need to have one of these fancy bottle openers here. There you go. We came in for a Pepsi. We ended up with an RC and then opened it with a Coca-Cola bottle opener.
That's pretty bad. I got a little Diet Cola. Oh, you got a little Diet Cola? Yeah. I had to go with an RC. I was looking for a Cherokee Red. Oh. They have Big Red, but not Cherokee Red. Yeah. But here, we got a little... Cheers. Happy Cheers. holidays, man. Happy holidays. I'm gonna pull my mask off before I can... And with that, I think I am done here. I had so much fun just hanging out in the Old Town area and seeing all the different shops, riding the Ferris wheel with Micah. Very cool times. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. We'll see you next time. Bye.